Welcome in to Lone Peak Basketball on KSL Sports Rewind. Lone Peak and American Fork. Prepare to tip off boys game of the week. Boy, we got a lot of wattage in this cottage. Should be a good one. It always is between this pair of region rivalry. Lone Peak coming in 2-0 in region play. American Fork 1-1 in region play. We'll talk about players as the game proceeds. As a drive here, try to kick it out. There with Jackson Best. What are your best is had? He's one of the Dynamic three-point shooters in this state. 44% from beyond the arc. Here's Fotheringham that drive. He'll go off the window and score it. First points of the game for Luke Fotheringham. He's had himself a big year, averaging eight and five, but boy, he's had games to score 20 plus. Fotheringham has first possession for American Ford. This is a team loaded with talent as they go inside here with Rawson. He'll work out three on the way. And one, that bucket will count. That was done, and I said an and one, and my apology, it was an offensive foul, but it was off the ball. So that three will count for done. It's 3-2 the advantage. No, it wasn't an offensive foul. It was, okay, we're all over the place. Again, we're working through technical difficulties here. It was a foul on Lone Peak. It was called on Suarez, and how about the rejection on the other end? Suarez picks up his first, but Jackson Durant, he was a young man that Coach Cuff talked to me about before the game, loves what Jackson has brought defensively. And there's a great example of it. He'll stay here with the Knights. As our apologies, working through a couple things here at the start, trying to get this going for you for those just joining us. 3-2 the advantage for American Fork. Pull up here, good. Swig it. Able to score on the mid range. 4 3 the advantage. Oh, and a foul. Boy, adding up a couple of fouls here quickly. This one going to go on Fotheringham, his first. His first personal. 17 foul at the line for the Kayton. Number 35 is Jackson Durant. Four apiece here. Splitting the trip. Oh, swig it down the lane. Wouldn't go. Batted around. Gathered. And AF up the floor quickly. Knocked away by Best. Boy, what a recovery there by Jackson Best to deny it. It'll stay here. Tiger Cup to inbound. All through the hands there of Dunn. As Lone Peak forces the steal, here come the Knights. Swig it. Left open. That three short. They get it back. Here's Best from long range. That was short. Jarred loose. Tiger Cuff able to gather here for American Fork. Inside. Rawson here trying to back it down. Working around. Left-handed shot. Won't go. Tapped up and in. On the way, yes, Chamberlain Burgess. Here's Cuff. Works over. 7 6 the advantage here for Lone Peak. Oh, how about that answer? Ashton Wallace for three. And that into the backcourt. Over and back.
And it will be American Fork basketball. Wallace looking to drive, left-handed, won't go. There's Dunn, offensive board and a putback. Four and a half to go here. Turned over, Wallace with the steal and the foul here gonna be given by Swigget. Inbounded here with Cuff. Here's Wallace, over with Rawson, Tiger again. Apologies, we're gonna get that graphic, our scoreboard up for you, and a foul inside here gonna be called on Burgess. It'll stay here, fourth team foul on Lone Peak. Wallace backing down off the window. Wallace and Dunn doing all the heavy lifting here early. That three won't go. Batted around. Suarez keeps it. Here's Fotheringham. Just slow it up here, get things reset. Swig it. Trying to find some space. Oh, nice patience by Cameron. One of the Utah top 50 players this summer. Boy, he's off to a good start here in this first quarter. 13-9, three and a half to go here. Cuff giving with uh, Wallace. Inside, done, too strong, tapped up. And, oh, given right back in the rim. Rawson with his first field goal in the right spot at the right time. Here's Suarez, Lone Peak, working around. Best, back to Jorge. Oh, an extra pass to Burgess. Denied! And then thrown out. Oh, they'll say, yeah, AF basketball. Aaron Dunn, no soup for you. With the rejection and the save for the cavemen. What a start for Aaron Dunn. Here's Cuff. Rawson trying to split through and gets it over Burgess. Inside, kept here. Swig it, looking over. Best hasn't been able to get much space. Tough drive for Jackson. That batted out, it will go to the caveman. And a timeout taken here by Lone Peak. Timeout Knights, American Fork with the lead on the road. Welcome back, 17-9, 2.15 to go. Getting that clock situated for you. Appreciate your patience with us here. Ran into glitches right at tip-off. Not the worst time you could ever ask for. Here's Dunn straight away for a three. That wouldn't go. He hit one earlier. That one looked like it had a good chance. Swing it. Oh, missed the finish. AF on the run. Couldn't gather it. And now Lone Peak looking to return. Fotheringham with a head of steam. Couldn't go too strong. Rebounded by Durant. Up the floor and blocked away but fouled. Fotheringham wasn't going to give that up as he'll pick up his second personal here in the first quarter. Boy, and Rawson back to his feet here. He took a hard fall. And American Fork not real pleased with the uh, foul there of Fotheringham. It'll be two free throws here for Blake. Uh, 
That deemed a common foul. As Rossin short on the first substitution here, will bring Amberry on the floor for Fotheringham. We'll also bring Jason Burton on the floor, and J.R. Turley will come on for Rossin at the next opportunity. Ah, missed them both. Looking to drive, Kramer giving to Burgess. Quick shot, Chamberlain. Here's Dunn, straight away. Back of the rim, offensive board for Rawson. Tiger Cuff will try the three. That won't go offensive board, no offensive foul instead. Aaron Dunn called for the loose ball foul. Inside of a minute to go. Durant coming off the floor as well. As Holden Hux checking in. Pull up from Burton. Jason Burton. Nice surge here from Lone Peak. Final 45 seconds here in the opening quarter. 17-13. Wallace, oh, tough finish. Ashton Wallace. Boy, the senior off to a great start tonight. Final 25 seconds here in the opening frame. Ten seconds to go. Kramer, pull up from just inside the line, rattles in. And the first quarter comes to a close. 19-15, American Forks leading Lone Peak. You're watching tonight basketball on kslsports.com. Start of the second quarter, 19-15. American Fork leading Lone Peak. Jackson Durant. This over, Turley here handing off. This is Hux. Working inside over Burgess. That was Key and Webb. Coach Cuff thought he might see time tonight. He's been battling an injury. Good to see him on the floor. And now a traveling violation. The pressure there by Kramer. Gets it back to Lone Peak. Suarez running to the table will come on here for Burgess. Cuff will come off the floor here as Wallace checking in. Kramer. Working off Suarez, Kramer. Boy, good defense there right in the chest. Hooks staying right with him. Thompson again driving left-handed finish. Wouldn't go and rebounded there by Durant. Wallace working away there from Webb. Oh, that pass too tall. Well, Pink trying to gather. It was deflected, so no over and back there. Here's Turley. Plays over with Wallace, Ashton here. Working away from that web screen, Turley the drive, the outlet, Durant. S finds that opening, no call there. I thought a good no call, is this lone peak on the run out? Burton, leaving for Kramer, got Durant in the air. Kramer, the floater, met in the air there by Webb, will draw the foul. Be the first personal on key and second team foul. And it will send Thompson Kramer here to the line to shoot a pair. Oh, 
first rimmed out on him. Jackson Best back on the floor. As is Blake Rossin. Kramer, yep. One for two on the trip. A little pressure here being shown by Lone Peak. They get it across with Rawson. Hucks, oh, good ball movement. Getting it to Webb here quickly. Trying to work against Amberry. Webb backing him down. Keen works out. Boy, how about that move by Wallace? Just left it on the front of the rim, but split the D so well. Here's Best. Suarez rolling off that screen, skips over. Amberry extra pass. Kramer, good closeout by Webb there. Has a lane here, no step back. Boy, how about Webb? That is active feet there by Kean. Ah, three, good for Jackson Taylor. Jackson Best can shoot it as good as anyone. Jackson Taylor, he's going to be the next great shooter here. Just a sophomore for the Knights. Closes it back to one possession. Rossin, oh, going, spin move, and one. Blake Rossin, what a take. The foul there by Suarez. It'll be his second. And Blake will have a chance at the line for a three-point play. Webb coming off the floor here for American Four. Good minutes for Kean. And Suarez will have to come off here. But boy, they'll come on with Fotheringham. He's got a pair as well. So Suarez and Fotheringham both with two personals for Lone Peak. And Rossin makes good on the three-point play. Here's Best. Best trying to drive. Boy, Dunn coming over there on the help. Took away any opportunity at a finish. And a nice clear there by the caveman. Here's Wallace. Dunn, the lob for Ross and the patience. Count it! Blake Rossin inside. This foul going to go on Amberry. And again, Rossin to the line. First on Amberry. Seventh team foul on Lone Peak. At the line for the Cape Blake Rossin. Burgess will come back on the floor here for Lone Peak. The inside right now being dominated by American Fork. Rossin. Back to back three point plays for Blake. He's got 10 unofficially. Ah, scoreboard matches it. 10 tonight for Blake. What response does Lone Peak have? Well, there's a foul by Turley. It'll be his first. Throwing in the backcourt here with Kramer. Best trying to get around that angle. Leaves it for Burgess, but it's off the back of the rim. Well, that's a good look for Chamberlain. The 6A sophomore just strong. Soft touch. Here's Rossin. Dunn. Trying to take advantage of that hard closeout. We'll give to Cuff. Cuff finding space, but short. Dunn the offensive board and put back. Oh, and now we're going to get an offensive foul there on Dunn. Came up high. That bucket will count. And I think the question here is that's coming right up in the head. 
The official was all over it. She was right on that. The question is, how severe will the foul be? As done, that is going to be his second foul. They will call the technical here. So Dunn called for the technical with that elbow, and it will be a free throw here for Lone Peak. And possession. It'll be best at the line here, and it is two free throws for Lone Peak. On the technical, the first good. First point tonight for Jackson, averaging 14 a game. And missed the second. One for two on the technicals. Lone Peak basketball. Really missing Luke Sa Ike Staley here. And a foul here going to be called on American Fork. A forearm there of Turley. It'll be his second. Ike, the 6'5 sophomore, 15 points a game. Talk about missing him, his absence. They would love to have his offense. He could be the guy to step up. A little baseline drive, giving back to Chamberlain. Long two, Chamberlain. He loves that square up. That one from 17 is good. Three and a half to go here, first half. Hux on, oh, turned over. Webb. And Coach Cuff pleading, saying that was deflected. Officials didn't see it that way. It'll go to Lone Peak. Three minutes to go here in the opening half. Swiggett coming off that screen, wanted back to Fotheringham, gets it to Luke. Fotheringham right down the lane. All oh, pressure coming. And swing it here. I think going to be called for the foul. And it will be one on one free throws here for American Fork. It is on swing it. It'll be his second. Two on Cam, two on Fotheringham, two on Suarez. All for Lone Peak. 18 fouls. One and one here for Wallace. Had nine points in the first quarter, Ashton did. Again, front end of the one and one for Wallace. Ooh, that's a shooter's touch right there. Ashen in double figures. Two for two. Fotheringham. Good screen coming off of that, and a foul here. Gonna go on Wallace. He thought he got a lot of basketball. Be the first on Ashton. Love the attacking mindset of Lone Peak on that play. Knew exactly where they wanted to get to, went right at it. 16 foul on American Fork. Lone Peak will be shooting free throws the rest of this first half. Here's Best in the corner, over with Fotheringham, Luke. Trying to back Rawson down, and a foul here gonna be called on Blake, and it will send Fotheringham to the line for one and one. First personal on Blake. 
keeping one and one is number 14, Blue Father and Hall. One and one. First for Luke, no, and an offensive, or a rebound cleared there by Wallace. Durant, working over. Here's Rawson. Oh, good find to Wallace, but couldn't get it to go down. Oh, man. That's a great look for Ashton, one he would love to have back. It's dropping 98 times out of 100. Here's Swiggett. Cam's had a good first half. He'll give to Best. Jackson Best, his first triple of the game, draws it to a two possession difference. There's one of the things Coach Cuff talked about. They are not shy of shooting the three. And when they make it, it can be a real problem. Drive by Wallace. That wouldn't go. Rawson had it and kept here by American Fork. Here's Ashton, worked up. Durant trying to work around Rawson. He'll pull up short. Burgess had it. Last to touch it. It'll stay here with the visitors. Substitutions. Cuff back on the floor. Dunn back on the floor here for the cavemen. And now the big man, Austin Pay, the 6'7 sophomore coming on the floor here for Lone Peak. I actually like this. Talk about the interior and see what Pay can do, the big offensive lineman. And Dunn able to score it on him. But I'll tell you, Pay's not going to make it easy on him. Good bucket there by Dunn. He's got nine. Here's Best. Good close out there by Cuff as we approach one minute to go. Swing it. Ah, uh, he'll pull for three. Rattled out. Fotheringham, the offensive rebound. Kicks out to Best for three. Was long. Wallace with the clear. Here's Ashton. Looking for Dunn. Boy, and pay. Yeah, you see that. He comes right out, that chest in the back. That's an offensive lineman, but the problem is that doesn't work in basketball. It'll be the first here on pay. I like that. I mean, look, you, you, you got to change some of the tone of what AF is doing inside right now. They've been able to get this ball inside, back you down, and look, pay has got five of them to play with tonight. So use them. Pay will come off here as Burgess checks back in. One and one here for Dunn. And Dunn good on the first. He's got one more. Aaron makes them both. Webb coming back on the floor here for Dunn. 39 seconds left here in the half. Twenty seconds left here in the second quarter. Fifteen on the shot clock. Shot clock at ten. Got to get going. Shot clock at six. Shot clock to three, and that dribbled out. Last touch by American Fork with one second left on the shot clock. Five seconds left here in the half. Really a catch and shoot situation. Swig will heave it with the one hand, won't and be close. Shot clock violation with two seconds to go. And I think what, what they're gonna ask for here is more time on the clock. 
And whether that should align to what the difference was between the shot clock and the game clock, which I think was about four or five seconds. Uh, it looks like they're going to leave it here, 2.4. That's total speculation on my part, by the way. Amberry coming on the floor here for the final two and a half. 35-27. Here's Cuff. He'll take the heave. Off the backboard, but off the mark. And without the half, draws to a close. 35-27. The Cavemen leading the Knights. You're watching Lone Peak Basketball on KSLSports.com. Start of the second half. American Fork leading Lone Peak. 35-27. Unofficial scores at the break. Blake Rawson had 10, Dunn with 11, Wallace with 11. All to pace. The Cavemen, meanwhile, for Lone Peak, seven for Burgess, four for Best Swiggett and Fotheringham. A couple of foul players in foul trouble for Lone Peak with two each is a three there by Swiggett. Swiggett. Out of play, last touch by the Cavemen. It'll be Lone Peak basketball. That's the thing about this AF team coming in. Cuff, Wallace, Dunn, Rawson all average double figures. And then Durant averaged nine. There's a lot of balance to this offense, and it's been that way here in the first half. And now we've got a timeout being taken by Lone Peak. Timeout Knights. Lone Peak basketball here, 13 seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, tried to lob that. Burgess tried to keep it and plays off Rawson. It'll stay here with Lone Peak. Six seconds left on the shot clock here. Coach Cuff trying to cheer on his D. Had a shot clock violation near the end of the first half. Would love to start this second half with one as well. Inbounded to Bess, and he's out of bounds. Ashton. Here's Rawson. Isolated. Suarez doing a good job staying right with him. They'll work out to Dunn for three. No. And Suarez there with the rebound. Wallace was trying to get there. He's going to be late getting back. Lone Peak has numbers. Swing it. Will pull up and hits the. No, that was Best. Jackson Best hits the three in transition. And it's a five point ball game. And now we've got an official timeout. We've got something on the floor here. Looks like a powder of some sort. And we need a broom here. Not quite certain what that is. Maybe something a little sweet. We're going to clean that up. We'll be back after this. Welcome back. Got the floor situation taken care of. Also had a... Uh, an object in the air, so I had to take a moment and remind people. The basketball, the only thing flying around in the gym tonight, and it should only be coming from the floor. Is like, oh, what a drive. Ashton Wallace, my goodness. Count the bucket, and he'll head to the line here for the and one opportunity as Wallace now with 13. The foul called on Fotheringham. It'll be his third. Well, that's one where you feel the contact and you kind of just put it up. And Wallace looking like he's done that before. Yeah, that's a heck of a finish. Fourteen for Ashton Knight. He has led the way. Has been fantastic. Here's Swiggett. Suarez. He's going to try it. The corner three. Wow, Jorge Suarez. So he's got a little bit of range igniting that student section. Here's Jackson Durant had it knocked away and it goes to the Knights. I'll tell you, Jorge's fired up. That whole bench is fired up. The student section loving it. Is that a play to help ignite Lone Peak here in this third? Swig it, pulling up. The closest Lone Peak has been since the opening minutes. Oh, 
Wallace had the angle. He'll give it back with Cuff. Done inside. Been a beast in the paint tonight. And trying to thread one there for Wallace. Deflected out by Best. Nice defense there. It'll be American Fork basketball underneath. Cuff to inbound. The lob for Wallace. Working on Burgess, and Burgess, yeah, you saw that arm kind of come down and through. And Chamberlain here called for the personal, his second. And it will send Wallace here to the line. Two here for Ashton. Boy, good looking free throws there for Wallace. All five American Fork points here in this first two minutes plus of the second half coming from the senior Ashton Wallace. Hold over from last year's state championship. A lot of guys who played minutes last year thrust into more minutes this year. And boy, it's been a good start to this season for American Fork. Fotheringham kicks it to Burgess. Burgess pull up here from 17. That's a pure stroke from the sophomore. Durant looking to attack, pass Fotheringham. A little bit of English there for Durant. Swig it, sends to the corner, best patience. Boy, look at the closeout, two AF defenders there. And it leaves Swig it, who hits the three. Boy, everyone knows how good of a long range shooter best is. And if you're gonna dedicate that much defense, guys like Swig it have to step up. Taylor, another one, got to get help when he brings that double team. Swig it does it. Here's Dunn working the block. Back and down. Dunn turning back to the rim. No. Burgess with the rebound. Here's Fotheringham. Lone Peak can tire. Take the lead. Long three. No. Uh, Burgess, that's a cheap one. Reaching around there, easy call, and that's going to be number three on Chamberlain Burgess. Boy, do you leave him on here if you're Coach Ross? That seems to be the decision. If I'm American Fork, I'm going right in the paint. Give it to Dunn, let him go to work. See if you can pick up a fourth. Substitution here, Swiggin will come off as Jason Burton comes on. Road Peak showing some full court here. Cuff, a bit of a step, able to break it. Here's Rawson. Rawson trying to work on Suarez. Oh, another ball that goes off their own leg in this defensive Lone Peak. Maybe speeding AF up a little bit. Kean Webb gonna come on the floor here. Best, he'll pull for three. Oh, the bank. After hours here, closed. Kept in, and Best tracks it down. Here's Burgess. He'll try the three. Chamberlain, no, and coming in. Suarez, they're gonna be called for the loose ball foul. That's three on Jorge. As, yeah, it was Hux. Was able to, I thought it was Hux. It might've been Turley came flying in there to secure the rebound for American Fork. Pass the midway point here of this third quarter. Fotheringham, Suarez and Burgess all with three personal fouls here for Lone Peak. Cuff. Giving with Hux. Cuff. Gets it to Dunn. Travel. Lone Peak basketball, boy. We've been stuck 42 40 for multiple possessions here. Oh, threaded ball to Suarez. And that came off the rim. Jorge will go to the line. 
Good vision there by Best. A foul here called on Webb. His second personal. And Jorge Suarez here with two, a chance to tie the ball game. Hit a three moments ago. First free throw, no good. Substitutions both sides. As Blake Rossin coming back on the floor, Kramer on the floor for Lone Peak, as is Jackson Taylor. One more here for Suarez. And the second one rattles out. Points left at the line there for the Knights. Rossum gives with Webb. Now Turley. Rossum has it. Moves out. Here's Webb straight away. Ooh, good looking shot. Wouldn't drop. And now a foul called on Lone Peak as an offensive rebound. Boy, the boards were something that Coach Cuff talked about. Really important for him. Another rebound there gathered by Turley as Taylor called for the foul. And that's the fifth team foul on Lone Peak. Just one team foul on American Fork here inside of three to go in the third. And it will be Turley here with two free throws for American Fork. First free throw, good. One more here for JR. Ashton Wallace back on the floor for American Fork. Best and Swiggett on the floor for Lone Peak. Turley rebounds on both ends of the floor. Trying to capitalize off the most recent offensive one. And that, re or that free throw won't go. Rattled out. Splits it. Oh, and a block. Boy, that's a tough one. That's a 50-50. Was awfully close on getting there. Uh, Holden Hux, I love the mindset there. But deemed to be a block. Second team foul on American Four. I want to be clarified. I'm not saying that was the wrong call. That was a, that's a really tough call. There's an offensive on Suarez, and that's going to be the, th the fourth here on Jorge. Got to wait for those ball screens to get set. And they'll rush a substitution here. Jorge has to come off. Amberry checking in. Here's Turley. Turley with space. No, offensive foul on Webb. That three will not count. And that the third on Key and Webb. We just talked about it. You got to wait for those screens to get set as the ball handler. Looked back, Burgess, Webb closing out on him inside Amberry. Amberry kicks to best. Boy, Hux right up here defending tightly. Swig it. Sees that hard close, gives to Burgess straight away. Tied up. Off the Burgess three, 43 apiece. Oh, nice back cut. Wallace foul will head to the line. Well, that's one, yeah, called there on best. You know, back in my day as a guard, you're always the first one to throw that hand up, trying to take credit of that. You don't want to see Burgess pick up his fourth. Suarez on the bench with four. A seventh team foul on Lone Peak, but on the shot, Wallace with two free throws makes his first. He's got another one here. 
Turley back on the floor for the Cavemen. Wallace, seven points here in the third, five of them coming from the line. 18 points for Ashton Wallace tonight. Lead back to two. Here's Best. Turley defending him. Anberry. Here's Swiggett. Shot clock down to 12. Cameron gives to Anberry. Able to keep that. Kramer could it. They turn it over. American Fork basketball. Coach Cuff we talked about how much pride he takes in his defense. Boy, they've really flexed their muscle tonight. And Rawson draws the contact and will head to the line. And this is on Burgess. And that is number four. Four on Chamberlain, four on Jorge Suarez for Lone Peak. Two free throws here for Rawson. Fotheringham will come on the floor here as Burgess has to come off. Fotheringham has three. We talked about the foul considerations. It's going to be an issue. One minute to go here in the third. Ross, or yeah, Ross and Short on that second free throw. Three point difference. Swig it. Fotheringham trying to drive. Durant stays with him. Nice job by Jackson. Never bailed out on that. Held his positioning well. Here is Durant. Rawson, offensive foul. Blake picks up his second as Fotheringham. Boy, that is, that is a gutty play. You're on the floor with three. Your two other bigs have four apiece. And you try to draw the charge there. It works out for Fotheringham as Rawson will come off here. As Rawson and Dunn come off the floor here, catch a break. Fotheringham had to shake off some contact there. He's still trying to work things out as we wait for a towel here to take care of a little perspiration. I want to remind you, Lone Peak basketball can catch every game right here on kslsports.com boys and girls the girls took care of business against american fork earlier tonight the boys trying to make it a clean sweep for the knights was an uncharacteristic last year for lone peak finish near the bottom of the region trying not to let history repeat itself here in 2023 this would be going a long way and if they can find a way to pull this one off. Shot clock turned off here for the final 20 seconds of the third. Swig it. They were very late to get in their offense to close out the second quarter. As the clock here down to 10. Hanbury coming up. On the screen they get the switch. Cameron in the corner. Wanted to work inside to Anberry and it's turned over. Keehan looking up the floor but they won't get a shot off. And that will do it. Through three, American Fork still in front. We got a ball game when we come back. Fourth quarter next on KSL Sports Rewind. Final quarter, 46-43. Two very different uh, approaches tonight. Maybe not intentionally, 
but for American Fork, you have only six points that have not been scored by the trio of Wallace, Dunn, and Rawson. They've carried the majority of the load. Unofficially, I have 40 points. 40 of the 46 points for AF coming from Ashton Wallace, Aaron Dunn, and Blake Rawson. Meanwhile, for Lone Peak, Chamberlain B Burgess has 12. No one else in double figures. Swig at nine, best with seven. Burgess back on the floor here to start the fourth quarter with four personal fouls. That will be interesting to see how aggressive they attack here. Some conversation going on before we start this fourth quarter. I'm not certain if uh, there was an improper check-in or what. Officials here conversing. Still working things out here before we start this fourth quarter. Wait to hear. Please refrain from throwing items onto the floor or in the stands. If we do throw something onto the floor, they will stop the game. And there will be a technical charge to Lone Peak. Please help us out. So one more reminder there. Objects in the air. Thank you. Multiple stoppages tonight due to that. So one more time and a technical will be awarded as Wallace. Boy. He's been so aggressive tonight. 20 points tonight for Ashton Wallace. As he's looked to attack all night. Burgess that three off the mark. Batted up. Bothering him, able to keep it. Best for three. His third made triple tonight puts him at 10. Durant, Wallace. Wallace working off of Rawson, pulled up from the elbow, no, batted out. Ashton had it, balls on the floor, kicks out. Tiger for three. First bucket tonight for Tiger Cuff, it's a big one. It's a five point lead for American Fork. Timeout, K-Med. We talk about the balance for American Fork. Tiger Cuff, the junior, averages 11 points per game, was held scoreless until that three right there. Well, you talk about a young man stepping into a big moment. What a shot. Lone Peak, nice. Lone Peak Lone basketball, Peak. five point difference. Seven minutes to go. Swig it. Looking for Best in the corner. Tiger there. Best, the baseline drive. Showing he's got more to his game than the perimeter. Cuff, and to end, contact there. I thought that was before the shot. Yeah, they do call it on the floor. And uh, boy, Best here, a little slow to get up. Looks like he may have turned an ankle. The rule is habitual shooting motion, no continuation. And boy, Best, yeah, he is not able to put a lot on that ankle. Boy, this is not a good sign if you're low and peak. No oh boy. This is a young man shooting 44% from beyond the arc this year. 14 points per game. He's trying to say, hey, I'm good. You wanna you wanna see a guy try to fight through it? Jackson Best right now. He's he's gonna make a trainer carry him off the floor. He's like, no, I don't I'm not, I'm not. look at <laughs> I don't know if you can see the eye roll. Luke wasn't gonna let him do it on his own. Luke was like, dude, I'm going to help you. And Jackson, that eye roll. Oh, man. <laughs> Even Coach Ross has a bit of a smile on his face. You certainly hope he's okay. That, uh, ankles are a tricky, tricky thing. Lone Peak hoping he's okay. They could use him. 
Three point difference, cuff at the line, one and one, and good. That was the ninth team foul on Lone Peak. It'll be double bonus the rest of the way for American Fork. Meanwhile, four team fouls on the Cavemen, still two to give for AF. And cuff two for two. Lone Peak pushing it up the floor, Kramer. Burton handing off, swig it. Offensive foul, and there's number five. Burgess has just fouled out. I would imagine as a coach, that's probably the call you hate to lose a player on more than any other. But that's one from here at I thought maybe it looked like some late movement. I can understand why officials made that call. And that'll do it for Chamberlain. 12 points tonight for Burgess. He's been as good of a long range shooter as Lone Peaks had tonight. And with Best trying to deal with an ankle right now, the question is what, how much range does Lone Peak have left? No Staley tonight. It'll be Suarez coming on. He's got four personals as well. And I'll tell you what. How about Kean Webb? He's off the floor right now for AF, but he sees Suarez, Suarez comes on, and he gives a shout-out to his whole team. Guys, he's got four. Everyone aware where the opportunity is is Wallace driving and Kramer, boy, good hands, but they'll call a dual possession there. The Lone Peak fans thought that that was a clean swipe, but if he comes down with that basketball, it is a dual possession. It's hard for me to tell from this angle. The official's right there. He calls the dual possession. The arrow will give it to Lone Peak. Taylor's come on the floor here for Lone Peak. He is a guy that can add a little range to your offense if you're the Knights. They've seen it this year. Can he come up with it here in this big rivalry game at home? Lone Peak starting, trying to start region four, three and oh. Swig it, the drive done. Call for the foul, the bucket will count. Swig it now in double figures as Aaron Dunn picks up his third. Oh, my apologies. Second on Dunn. Second on Aaron John. Swing it to the line. And wouldn't go down. Out of bounds. It'll stay here. Last touched. No, no, no. Overturn. I said it's going back to AF. Official corrected his own call. They go to Dunn. Suarez has the four. Dunn gives back with Cuff. They'll go to Aaron again. Suarez defending with four. Boy, pretty good job there by Jorge. A drive, thrown up, J.R. Turley, his first field goal of the night. Kramer working on Cuff, and they call a foul on Tiger Cuff, his first. The bucket will count for Kramer. A chance for a three-point play here for Thompson Kramer. He's shooting the one. Checking in for the caveman number 24. Rawson coming on the floor here for the caveman. Dunn will catch a break. 5.15 to go here. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of bodies in this gym. It is getting warm. The tension ratcheting up. Kramer, the three-point play. Two-point contest. Lone Peak is drawn to two. They haven't been able to take the lead. 
Rawson sends out. Wallace all the way to the rim. Boy, make that defense, make a decision, and a foul called here on Ashton Wallace on this end. That'll be a second on Ashton, and that the seventh team foul on American Fork. So both sides shooting the rest of the way. This will be one and one here for Swiggett. Cam one and one for the Knights. One and one here for Cam. Earns a second. And he hits a bolt. 13 now for Swiggett. The leading scorer for Lone Peak tonight. Burgess with 12. He's fouled out. Best with 12. And not seeing Jackson Best come back on the floor since turning that ankle. And that one given away. Miscommunication. And here is a chance for Lone Peak. Into Suarez. First tie since 43 apiece when Suarez, I think, hit the three. Cuff working off Rawson, spin back. Cuff, that's too strong. And Suarez with the rebound. Here come the Knights. Kramer. Pass the midway point here in the fourth quarter. Kramer trying to drive, leaves to Jorge for three. Who that? That's Jorge Suarez. Eight points in the second half. The last three giving Lone Peak the lead. 60 57 nights. Timeout. What a ball game. Lone Peak has fought back. Despite not having Burgess, Best is back on the bench. And the Knights have taken the lead here, three and a half to go. Suarez still on the floor here, playing with four personals. And Rawson, right back to the well, able to score it. That is AF strength right now, it's inside. I wouldn't be surprised to see them continue just go in the post, in the post, the rest of the way. Here's Fotheringham. Looks to swig it. Taylor calling for it. Kramer attacking, and it comes off the rim. Rebounded by Dunn. Oh, tough cut. Last touch by Wallace. Rawson had to put some extra juice on that to try to fit it through. And Best is back on the floor for Lone Peak. Swig it. Shook the defense. Oh, what a go and done, able to corral it. Boy, an open look for Cam. Here's Ashton, 22 tonight for Wallace. Big night for him. Cuff left, and Cuff dials his second three in the corner. Time out, Cavemen, as they retake the lead. 2-11 to go, Tiger Cuff didn't have a point tonight until the fourth quarter, he's got eight of them now, the most recent. 
A big three for the Cavemen, giving the lead back to the visitors. Swig it, looking for Taylor. Taylor in the paint to Fotheringham for three. Fotheringham dials up the answer for the Knights. And we'll get another timeout by American Fork with the basketball, 145 left. Timeout, Cavemen, we'll be back. American Fork basketball, both teams, two timeouts left. Double bonus for American Fork the rest of the way. Still in the one and one are the Knights. Here's Durant over with Dunn, now Cuff trying to get entry for Rawson and it gets there. Ooh, that nearly came out. Bothering him was going for the steal and I don't blame him. Swing it. Sixteen for Cameron to give the two-point lead back to Lone Peak. The three ball coming alive here in the fourth. Rawson working on Fotheringham, trying to outlet it, tapped out. Durant gives to Dunn, he'll try the three. Aaron Dunn! Had 11 in the first half, swing it, quickly penetrating to the rim and scores! Back and forth we go, a one point lead to Lone Peak and a timeout taken by the Knights, 68-67. Timeout, Lone Peak. How about the moments here in the fourth quarter? Tiger Cuff, eight points, all in the fourth. Aaron Dunn hadn't made a three since his opening field goal. He's left open and he drills it, but Cam Swiggett, my goodness, nine points in the quarter, 18 in the game for Cam. To help give Lone Peak the one point lead, 46 seconds left, American Fork basketball. Wallace, they go inside, Rawson, Suarez defending. Cuff, 15 on the shot clock, Rawson trying to back Suarez down, gets a little bit of space, soft touch for Blake Rawson, and a timeout taken by American Fork as they retake the lead, 17 for Blake, 69-68 Cavemen, timeout, it'll be Lone Peak basketball with a shot to win when we come back. Welcome back. I want to remind you, you can catch every Lone Peak basketball game right here on KSL Sports Rewind, next up for Lone Peak, they'll Stay home, take on the Corner Canyon Chargers. 20 seconds to go here. They're trying to close out business against their region rival and start 3-0 in region play AF. Trying to improve to 2-1 and, and stay in within sight of first place here in region four. 22 for Rawson, seven, or 22 for Wallace, 17 for Rawson, 14 for Dunn to lead American Fork, 18 for Swiggett, he's got it right now. One point difference, Cam with it, 12 seconds left. Swig it with 10. Looking to drive, Swig it, leaves for Suarez. And it goes down, timeout, timeout, taken by AF, Jorge Suarez. Swig it, the drive, the fine is to Jorge. He's hit a couple threes tonight. And he may have just hit the game winner, so he's got that going for him as well, which is nice. Time out, Cavemen. It'll be a full timeout. They put two seconds on the clock. 2.1 seconds on the clock. It'll be American Fork basketball. They'll have to go the length of the floor. One timeout left for Lone Peak. No timeouts left for American Fork. So the Cavemen, this is their last time out. Cannot take one in the front court. Again, Lone Peak has the one. So you potentially come out here, see what AF is wanting to do. Take a timeout to get the defense set. And then try to run the final two seconds. What a ball game tonight. The student section has been packed, it's been great. It's been a great environment tonight. We got the band here and uh, Good fan support, Region 4 basketball. Tell you what, 
Games like this every night, be it Westlake, PG, Sky Ridge, AF, Lone Peak. My goodness, Corner Canyon, it is a loaded, loaded region. It's a one point difference, two seconds to go. As we come out of the timeout. Jorge Suarez with maybe the most critical buckets of the night. The game winner at this point. I should say the go ahead. Game's not done yet. It'll be cuffed to inbound. Done in the front court. Wallace at half court. AF to win it. Cuff the heave. It's in. And yeah, that's going to be an issue. We'll replay this as that hit the curtain. Oh, no, it's low peak ball. My bad. You go for the heave, it hits the curtain at midcourt. It's essentially out of bounds, and we've got a foul given here before that ball's inbounded. And that's, I think, exactly what you try to do here. I think they're going to put 2.1 back on the clock. The foul called on Cuff. And it'll be free throws here for Kramer. One and one. No timeouts for American Fork. One and one for Thompson Kramer. One point lead, 2.1 on the clock. Kramer makes the first. One more here for Thompson. Rawson going to come on the floor. Nope, never mind. He's not. Is Lone Peak trying to take a timeout? Nope. One more for Kramer. No timeouts for AF. Misses. Clock started. Here's Cuff. The heave for the win. Lone Peak, the come from behind victory over their region rival, American Fork, 71 69. What resiliency by this group. Burgess fouls out. Suarez has to play the whole fourth with four fouls. Scores eight points in the fourth, including the game winner, Jorge Suarez, our player of the game for Lone Peak as they get the 71-69 win over American Fork. Long Peak is 3-0 in region play. They'll put that record on the line when they take on Corner Canyon next week. You can catch that game right here on kslsports.com. For Tino Psyche, Jaron Mulford, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us for Long Peak Basketball, only on KSL Sports Rewind.